right, let me do what I said I was going to do. Let me just break down the headlines. Fed sting Amish farmer selling raw milk locally. And it says that for over a year they did the investigation, the undercover, the the uh, purchases. Of course, this is all being publicly sold. None of this was being hidden. Uh, and there's another quote in here by the FDA saying, we believe that all milk should be pasteurized. I mean, even until the 60s, it was still a competition where, whether it was pasteurized or not pasteurized. And for those that don't know, uh, they, they, they basically heat up the milk. They cook it. It's no longer milk. And they, it was big mega dairies and, and, the, and the big chains that were supplied by the big dairies that on record lobbied in the 40s, 50s, 60s. It took them up to the 60s nationwide to do it through the feds and the state level to shut down uh, being able to buy raw milk at the store. And you know why? Because they couldn't compete with it. People knew the health benefits. Doctors recommended it because they wanted to be able to have the cow droppings to be able to get in the milk, uh, the blood, the pus. They wanted to be able to give the hormones, overwork the cows. Um, I've actually worked for a large animal vet, and I've, I've seen dairy cows that you know, have, have the problems in their udders. Uh, they get very infected, and uh, so it's in a way it's a meat product, a lot of the milk you get. It doesn't just have the milk. It has the blood, the pus, and the uh, cooked and bleached out uh, uh, cow droppings, cow manure. And that's what they do. And and so something similar to this is government is moving and the, and, and the irradiating lobbies are pushing to go ahead and just radiate all meat. Just a few years ago, they got it approved, what, a decade ago or so. And now they're pushing at state and federal levels to make everyone radiate the meat, all meat packing. And you know why? Because then they can feed you rotten beef. Then it can have E. coli crawling all over it. It can have blood and 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 uh, cow manure. You ever seen video of a slaughterhouse? You have to clean that stuff up. They they don't like that. Okay, and so you get sick if they make a mistake. So they just want to radiate it all and destroy all nutritional value in it. The major studies show it's the same thing with the homogenization. It's the same thing when they boil and cook that milk. And I've interviewed the heart surgeons, the brain surgeons, the nutritionist. Uh, milk is very good for you until you cook it, and then it changes it. Just, just like cooking certain meats and certain oils creates unnatural things, trans fats. It creates a sludge that then clogs your arteries. So they take something absolutely healthy and good and ruin it because the big mega corporations didn't want. You ever been in a dairy, a really big one? Oh, and they put the uh, big machines up on the udders and blood and pus is shooting through with the milk. It just goes right in. But in the old days, uh, with the milking system, you had to keep it perfectly clean, do it right. You could taste the milk if there was a problem. You, you could tell it. And it was a real art form. And you can go back to the statistics, almost no problems. But now, all over the country, we've got uh, foreign central banks stealing trillions of dollars. No one will say where the money went. Wachovia and Wells Fargo just admitted last year, AP, Reuters, all reported, Bloomberg broke it. Uh, they said, we'll pay a $100 million fine on $376 billion in laundered drug money. And they owned and, and, and leased in, uh, the aircraft, and it just came out last week, the Chicago Tribune. The head drug dealer they've arrested is showing the documents in court saying, look, I work for the U.S. government under orders and the banks. And it's like, well, that in the court saying that is admissible, but still it's illegal. The government's allowed to order you to do it, but then when you, we're still going to go ahead and put you in prison. You understand? That's not a defense. And, and the, the, that's in the news. So don't worry. The heroin, the cocaine, uh, the Ritalin, the Prozac, the uh, prescription stuff, they push on the kids in the schools and push on everybody else. Folks have car wrecks now and have a hurt back, and they come in and say, we recommend you go on a serotonin reuptake inhibitor. That's not a problem. None of that's a problem. Like, I'll just get into this now. Feds sting Amish farmers selling raw milk. The Washington Times also have a Washington Post on this. And, and you read through, and there's a quote in here. Here it is. 
It is the FDA's position that raw milk should never be consumed, said Tamara N. Ward, spokeswoman for the FDA. It is their position. Now, it's still legal for you to have a cow and milk it yourself. And uh, I, I know the farmer's market in town uh, here in Austin, you could go and they're, they're selling cheeses and stuff. But if you wanted to go and do a private deal with them, they'd sell it till the undercover showed up. It's like drugs. So that's gone now. Uh, but the uh, the Amish themselves, and I've seen other cases of, of, of other families. Uh, well, we can show you the video. Uh, it comes out every few months. Uh, countless videos of people selling uh, produce at little stores and police come in, guns drawn. They've been taught this is really a dangerous group. And now they're arresting people selling pumpkins or squash. I see these reports constantly. And cities are moving for inspections of your home garden because you might grow marijuana. So you're guilty until proven innocent. You're a prisoner. Do you think in San Quentin you're allowed to have a garden in your jail? No, you get your, uh, your uh, what do they call it when they uh, come in and do the inspections and throw everything out on the ground? You, you think you're in a free country? Now, what they do a lot of places is you'll have a local farm and then you own a cow and pay someone on their farm to take care of it and it's in their stall and you get your milk every few days and you have to go pick it up and those co-ops are farming. And so I've talked to a lot of the co-op owners here in Austin and stuff and you know, these, these plainclothes cops will come in and I, I want some of that milk. Uh, could you mail it to me in Oklahoma? Now, no, that would be under federal regulations, under the Commerce Clause. I'm sorry, officer. I'm not an officer. I, I, I wanted to, 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 to get it in Oklahoma so they could make it a federal case. They're like, okay, thank you, sir. Well, the Amish wouldn't sell it in over a year operation over the state line. So the feds bought it and carried it across state lines. And now they're facing many years in the federal pen. We're all safe now. Those guys that ride horse and buggies, they're not going to sell that dirty milk, that dirty Alcada no more. Not going to happen anymore. So we're all safe now. And see, it's the FDA's position that raw milk should never be consumed. There's no law, but we're still going to. You know, I was explaining to folks, uh, you, you can just search people arrested for $2 bills. Man arrested for $2 bill. Man arrested for silver coin. And you'll uh, woman arrested for gold coin. Uh, now citizens have been taught that's dirty. Remember the federal case last month, the AP? That guys, reprint me that AP article, please. I want to read the exact quote. They said, you are a particular type of terrorist. They said, uh, you are a unique type of terrorist was the quote. Uh, and and uh, the federal prosecutor, after he was convicted and he's facing 15 years for issuing silver coins that were you know, private currency, totally legal. We've read the U.S. code here. No one's ever gotten in trouble. There's thousands of companies selling them, dozens of big mints. But it's becoming popular. And uh, they said, we will infiltrate, we will frustrate, we will stop these people. They are terrorists. What did O'Neill, the former Treasury Secretary under Bush, say uh, on Bloomberg? I played this on Friday. Or was it Thursday? He said anybody that doesn't want to basically raise taxes and raise the debt ceiling, quote, is Al-Qaeda, is like Al-Qaeda. And we need to arrest members of Congress, round them up, who are for it. See? See? Milk is terror. Everything is evil that's good. You understand? By the way, I know that if you're a new listener and you hear me talk about people going to jail for $2 bills or silver dollars, you think I'm joking? Just search it and you'll get mainstream news. Uh, I know this sounds absurd, but it's real. I can play you O'Neill, the Treasury Secretary before Paulson, uh, Bush's first Treasury Secretary, and then it was Snow and then it was Paulson. On Bloomberg, I played it Thursday. It's up on Infowars.com. Just search the term if you want to watch the whole video, live on Bloomberg TV, where he says it's domestic terrorism like Al-Qaeda to not raise the debt limit and lose our AAA rating and have to go in deeper into debt to the bankers. He actually says it. Then he goes on and says we may have to round up. Congress may force us to round up half of them. In fact... The reason I say go find it yourself, I didn't really tell the crew to find that. See if you can dig that clip up again. I know it's from Thursday, but because uh, I know it's an eight-minute clip, try to find the spot where he does it. Now, I said that the federal government came out when Bernard von Nothaus, uh, Mr. Nothaus, 13 years coining his own silver, not, not in competition to the fiat true counterfeit money of the private Federal Reserve that took over in 1913. 
totally legal. Even mainstream media, even AP and Reuters and Wall Street Journal and Kudlow uh, on MS or CNBC, they had to admit this is ridiculous and read the U.S. code. It wasn't illegal. But they've got juries that would send a Girl Scout to the gas chamber for mass murder with no evidence. They would send a ham sandwich to the electric chair if ordered to do so. They will arrest you for $2 bills. They will arrest you for silver coins. They have a giant population of citizens that think it's cool to tattle. They've been told everything's illegal. You see these reports all the time. It's always an old man. And it could be in Colorado, Texas, Massachusetts. It, it does. You see them everywhere. I know you've seen the articles where the guy's in his garage, a tinker, cleaning his rifle. Neighbor walks by, sees it. SWAT team shows up. And, and the SWAT team knows it's not illegal, but they go ahead and arrest him. And then you hear about them facing charges, even though there are no charges. I mean, I've seen people go to jail for stuff that's not illegal for, quote, an arsenal. And then you go check the state law, and I get gun owners of America on and others, and we go over the law. There is no law on an arsenal. They just call it an arsenal, and then usually that gets beat in court. So they say, well, you had black powder. That could have been used for a bomb. Well, I bought it at the local gun shop and, you know, do black powder reloading. We don't care. The neighbor called. You're evil. We're getting you. Now, I haven't even gotten into all the news yet. We'll, we'll have open phones for the entire uh, second hour. But since I mentioned before break and gave you the quote about a unique type of terrorism, the U.S. attorney, after the kept jury, for those that don't know, federal juries in the last few decades are no longer selected from the general public. They create pools, mainly of bureaucrats, sycophants, law enforcement people that, again, would send a puppy dog to the gas chamber if uh, told that breathing was illegal uh, and they just live on federal juries and they will convict anyone and everyone. You think I'm doubting? Uh, uh, listen, it's up to a 98% conviction rate. Don't believe me, just look it up. 98% of people charged by the feds are convicted. Now, do you really believe 98% are guilty? Of course they're not. The federal government is there to protect the banks laundering 376 bill in two years. And it's all over the news and nobody gets in trouble. They're there to protect the U.S. Marines growing the opium and they put it on Fox News, the Marine Corps colonel. I can play it. Just search Geraldo Rivera, uh, you know, admits troops growing opium. And they're like, yeah, we don't like it. But if we don't, Taliban will get the money. Oh, really? You don't just, uh, you see, you got to sell it to America. I, I mean, it's... So They've gone from denying all this to just admitting it. We have a corrupt government. You're like, how dare you talk bad about my Marines? No, it disgraces the Marines to have them supplying security and fertilizer and transportation to the schmack. See, once you give in to evil, once you accept corruption... Once you say the government's not bad and what we're doing is okay, the sky's the limit. Once you give in to that, it's over. Once you let them take your shoes off and your belt off and answer questions at the airport because of a supposed threat that's not as dangerous as honeybee stings every year. Again, more people die of that every year than of terrorism. Look it up. But you will give up all your rights. Well, next, it's the hands outside the pants. Now it's the hands in the pants. Once you do that, the sky's the limit. Oh, we're only wiretapping Americans overseas. Oh, now we're wiretapping everybody. Now we're tracking everything you're doing. Now we're going to make you thumbprint to buy and sell. Now we're going to raise your taxes. I, you see, they're setting the precedent. But, but I digress. I haven't even gotten to the news yet here. This is from the FBI Federal Bureau of Investigation. We'll put it on screen. Uh, for radio listeners, just search defendant convicted of minting his own currency. And I'm at FBI.gov, Charlotte Division, U.S. Attorney, press release, Statesville, North Carolina. And you get to the end of the three-page article, the, the press release, and it says, Attempts to undermine the legitimate currency of the country are simply a unique form of domestic terrorism. Going to jail is a terrorist, folks. U.S. Attorney Tompkins said in announcing the verdict, while these forms of anti-government activities do not involve violence, they are every bit as insidious. Oh, it's insidious that he had TV ads running for 13 years for a silver coin. And represent a clear and present danger to the economic stability of this country, she added. 
We are determined to meet these threats through infiltration, disruption, and dismantling of organizations which seek to challenge the legitimacy of our democratic form of government. It's now undemocratic to print up your own silver and gold coins and advertise alternate currencies that are totally legal.